Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for around the 14th, okay? So, we all know the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, and I'm sure that a lot of people were triggered in that last reading. I told you that I had a lot to say. It's time to move on. That is the message. It is time to move on into your best life. There is grieving over a loss that has been prolonged. It's time to focus on the future. Look at it as a lesson that was learned and stop pointing the finger at anybody but yourself. Because if you are hanging on to something that is not reciprocating with you, that's your fault. You are to blame. Stop pointing the finger at the person that hurt you and saying that you're waiting for them to apologize or you're waiting for them to come around or you're waiting for anything from them. When somebody loves you and cares for you, there's no waiting involved. If you are due for a job offer, if you are the top pick, there's no waiting. You don't wait. You keep a trucking. Let's see what these cards have to say. All done waiting. No more waiting. Time's up. <gasps> of course. Of course. Five of Cups. Grieving over a loss. This is grieving. So there's, there's some sort of grieving that is going on. Moping, crying, sadness, tears, regrets. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. With emotional difficulty, we have somebody here that is really, really suffering. Within, within themselves, this is crying, it is. It's crying over a loss. Ace of Swords is the truth, communication, a wake-up call. I really don't need to do another reading, but... Somebody is going to be receiving a wake-up call or they're going to be receiving a truth. Some sort of truth is going to be coming out. A new perspective is about to be gained. This is a new perspective that is about to be gained. I would say in the next two days, a message is coming. <laughs> we just talked about this. A message is coming. Somebody's going to be receiving some messages or they're going to be getting messages or news is arriving. There could even be something that is on the news. Okay. Um, there is some sort of message that is coming. 
and it is not good news. I don't care what anybody says, it's not good news. Or somebody could just be getting the message. They may be getting an intuitive message. They may be getting a new idea, taking a new approach. We've been talking about this a lot lately. This is the truth, accepting the truth. Somebody's going to be receiving some news or some information that is very factual, but it cuts. It cuts. It hurts. It hurts. This is to come, right? This is what's coming. This isn't in the past. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, it's already happened. This is a future reading. It's not a past reading. We get all these people that are in la-la land. They don't want to accept reality. Oh, Jesus. Excuse my language. It really frustrates me that people want to live in the past. Stop living in the past. Please live in the future. Live in the present. Live in the present. Stop living in the past. We have a golden opportunity. Somebody has a golden opportunity right in the palm of their hand. This is something solid. It's something stable. We have a hard worker here that is valuable, that is worthy. That also has a lot to offer. Hold on to your value. Hold on to your worth. Know your value and worth. We have Queen of Pentacles that is very independent and hardworking, that has something of value. This person has the has the opportunity right in their hand. This is something that could lead to abundance. I mean, that's the Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity for, for stability and security and wealth and abundance. There, there's like a, there, this is like prosperity, a new business, a windfall, a gift. Some, or whatever it is, it's a new opportunity that leads to success, long-term success. Somebody has an opportunity right in their hand. They do. But there's some sort of distrust. Poor communication, lies. The page of swords in reverse is a lie or somebody that is immature, mean-spirited, up to no good. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. Bad news. Bad news. Somebody could be receiving some bad news. I'm positive. This bad news is a wake-up call. It really is. It is a wake-up call. It looks as though this Queen of Pentacles... It looks like she's looking in a different direction. You know, she's looking, so she's, she's not even looking back this way. She's looking in another direction. She has something of value. She knows her value. This is the queen of value. It is. It's the queen of value. It's the queen of, of worth. Hard working, successful. This could be a businesswoman, businessman. Maybe receiving an offer. Somebody may be receiving an offer from somebody that is very stable. 
solid, insecure. They need to turn around and look at the opportunity. They need to look in another direction. Right now they have been focusing on something that they have lost when there's another opportunity that they're not even acknowledging. You see, there's an opportunity for a partnership with an individual that is loyal, that is hardworking, that is stable, that is solid, that is valuable, that is capable. This person is independent, takes care of themselves, abundant. Uh, this is a homemaker. This person is... successful I mean does it all this queen of pentacles male or female does it all works hard saves their money oh now it's upright page of swords this person it looks like the Queen of Pentacles is going to be making an offer to somebody. This person is distrustful. They are. I can tell by the fist. This like has their guard up. An offer, a stable, solid offer is coming from an individual that This is real. This is something you can touch. This is something that, uh, it's a good offer, put it that way. It's a golden opportunity. Somebody's going to be receiving a golden opportunity from an individual that is financially stable. This person is solid, secure, devoted, loyal. They're going to be giving somebody an offer, but this person is distrustful i just want to keep saying that upright or reverse doesn't trust them but this is a good offer that is coming but this person doesn't trust because they've been so damn hurt page of swords a message is coming it may not be what you want to hear. It is a wake-up call. It's time to take a new approach. You're going to be receiving an offer from somebody. We talked, it's basically the same reading, but in, an, in other words. This offer is something that could last. It is something that could, could really grow into abundance. This offer is from a person that is very motherly, very caring, very, you know, can grow anything. The queen of, the queen of uh, pentacles is very fertile, nurturing, works hard, does it all. This queen of pentacles, she does it all, she does. She has, she has something of value in her hands and she's thinking because the Ace of Swords is thinking. But I think the decision has already been made because the thoughts are behind her. She's leaving something behind her. Maybe it's the pain from that hurt in the past. <laughs> Anyhow, um, the Ace of Swords. That is a thought, a new approach, taking a new approach. I wonder if somebody is going to be partnering up with another person that is there's an age difference here there is an age difference with somebody that is younger than them and they don't trust they don't trust this person but this this person appears to be very hard to communicate with this person doesn't communicate well it, the other person you know that page of swords is because the sword is down that doesn't somebody doesn't communicate well they may have anger issues they're look this but this queen of pentacles she has something of value and i think that she has somebody's watching her they're spying or they're interested they're very curious 
they see this person's value. There's going to be some communication that is coming. There is communication coming. But I feel like it's going to be difficult communication. I do feel like it's going to be difficult communication. And I feel like there's 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 going to be a need to use discernment, you know, to think about what you want to offer, okay? Because I feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to hold on to your value. You need to hold, don't give anything away too quick or you will regret it. You know, because there's regrets. We have this Queen of Pentacles here that has a lot to offer. I feel like she's dealing with somebody that doesn't communicate well, that is interested. And I wonder if this person is just interested in money. Because earlier I had the Ten of Pentacles in reversed when I cut the deck at the beginning. When I, when I look at the bottom, one of the bottom's cards was the Ten of Pentacles was reversed. So I'm wondering if we have somebody here that is just after money. Five of Cups is regrets. Ace of Swords is awareness. It's clarity. Think. Think about this. I do believe that there is an offer that is coming that needs to be considered. This opportunity is real. It, it is because of the because of the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a real solid offer that is coming in. But I think that I feel like there's some sort of I don't know. It feels like there's some sort of a hidden agenda. Which is, how could it be a real offer if it was a hidden agenda with that page of swords? This person looks like they're abrasive, they're harsh, they, they uh, don't communicate well. You know, there's a lack of good communication skills. This person doesn't communicate well. I feel like, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles needs to hold on to her assets. She needs to hold on to her money and be very careful because when you get the Page of Swords, you've got to be careful. This person can step on your toes. Somebody may, somebody may be after another person's money. reversed ah king of swords reversed and emperor reversed yeah we we got somebody here that uh is ruthless we do have a ruthless she this queen of pentacles has is real okay that's where the real offer is she that's that's a real okay that's something you can touch the queen of pentacles has something of value it's real. She has something of real value in her hands dealing with an individual that is untrustworthy. That is exactly what we have. I knew that I could feel it so strongly. So strongly. Whew. Queen of... Oh. King of Swords reversed, Emperor reversed. This is abuse. Okay, there's some sort of mental abuse, ver verbal abuse, uh, physical abuse. Uh, there is hidden agendas here. We got somebody here that they may not work or they something they may be financially unstable or something isn't working out with them financially. They've probably abused their power. They do abuse. I feel like we have abuse here. We have an abuser here. And it feels like they, there could even be physical abuse because of that fist. I keep seeing that fist. So I'm not sure if there's some sort of physical abuse here or what. Anger, anger. I do believe there's gonna. I feel like I don't know what's happening, but I think that I think that there there could be a fight. Okay, there could be a fight. Uh, I feel like there could be an argument. There could be an upcoming conflict because we have somebody here that is ruthless. This is this could be a business owner. This is somebody that uh, is mean spirited. This person breaks the law. Doesn't follow rules. Something isn't working out with an individual because this person 
is cold hearted. We have a cold, definitely we have a cold, maybe even a narcissist. We have somebody here that is, uh, about to get a wake up call from their narcissist. And they're going to regret dealing with this person. Perhaps you need to know your value and, and your worth and hold on to your value and your worth. And, uh, protect yourself it feels like protection is needed here it does with the emperor reverse and the king of swords reverse and i could see it i could see that with that page of swords just there's some sort of harsh energy here something is not working it could have something to do with a job going to work and maybe maybe there's a loss of a job or not making enough money or something like that and somebody gets pissed off fighting over money we could have a family feud I do feel like there's going to be some tears shed. There's going to be some sadness over uh, some sort of, I don't know, and, and it could have something to do with messages because I feel like I saw the Eight of Wands a little while back too, and that's about messages. I'm wondering if somebody is going to get some messages or they're going to see some messages and that's going to cause a fight. That could cause an argument I, or, there, or there's something that is said that causes an argument. Um, I do think that there's probably going to, there could be some mean words that are said, some, some harsh words. I want to say this is harsh. It's very harsh. We, we, I feel like we have abuse here. It's either mental, physical, uh, emotional, it's, it's mental or physical. It's mental abuse, uh, physical abuse, uh, verbal abuse, um, Something isn't working out, and I think it's because we have an individual that doesn't care who they hurt. This person only cares, very selfish, very self-centered, uh, doesn't want responsibility, doesn't want to own up to their, their uh, actions. I feel like we have uh, somebody that, this is like a tyrant, and it could be a male or a female, I feel like this person is going to abuse their power. They are going to abuse their power in some way and things could get violent. I just feel like it could get violent. I do. Um, King of Pentacles. It is about money. I know this is about money. It is about money. This is a fight over money. Ugh, lack of success. Flogging a dead horse attitude adjustment not learning from mistakes so somebody is stuck in a situation they are stuck in a situation that they need to get out of but they won't because of money and i think that there somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye as well there could be, there could be a you know separation with that five of cups and the world card reversed where somebody leaves without saying goodbye we have a father figure or a boss or a person or it could even be a mother a person that is in a position of authority that is abusing their power this person is about to uh I feel like they're about to, to lose control. I, that's what it, it feels like to me. They're, they're about to lose it. I feel like they're about to lose control. And it, this is definitely, this is about money. It is. These people are not seeing eye to eye. Okay. They're not seeing eye to eye about money. I'm holding them on to the money. I, I, here, I got this money for you. Oh, it's not, a, it's not enough. It's not enough money. You know what I mean? So I think this is a fight about money. Um that is going to cause a huge problem. It's a very masculine energy as well. So I, I feel like there's, there's, this is almost like, and I don't even have any fight cards except for this one. It feels like it's war. Some truth is probably gonna come out which causes an argument, okay? And it brings tears. It does bring tears. Ooh. Three of swords. Heartache, separation, stabbed, and right in the heart. Heart pain. 
somebody is, you know, some this could even resemble a heart attack. This somebody is going to be receiving some news that is heartbreaking. And and whatever this news is, it's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. It is. You know, it hurts when somebody stabs you in the back or, you know, <laughs> Desert to you in your time of need or mentally or verbally or physically abuses you. That hurts. So this is a wake-up call. This is a new perspective definitely that is being gained. And I think it, I think it's pretty impulsive. Somebody, it's, I feel like somebody just loses control. The emperor in the upright is all about order and control. In the reverse, it's opposite. Angry, out of control. And this is abuse. So I do feel like, I feel like, uh, I don't even know if somebody's breaking the law. You know, the, the you know. Um, I, I, this is like power crazed. Seriously. Anyway, I do believe there's about to be a conflict. Okay, or there's a there could be a conflict of in, interest. Somebody's going to be receiving some news that they don't want to see or they don't want to hear, and it's going to bring tears. And it may have something to do with a father figure. It could also have to do with a job. You know, it could be a loss of a job. It could be something to do with a father figure, husband, um, a boss. Whoever this person is, they are in a position of authority and they have abused their power and uh, they are no longer going to be successful in that manner. And maybe maybe that's what causes it is that they're, they're not being successful. Okay, they're, they're not having success. Something isn't working out and that's what's causing the argument over the money. Okay, these two people are not. See, it could be partners, it could be work partners could be two work partners something is with the eight of pentacles reversed the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles not facing each other both wanting to hold on to the money i'm not giving you mine and she's trying to give it and he's like it's not enough or he or she or whoever it is doesn't matter about the gender right here something is not working out whether it's job related or it is relationship related this is it needs to end it's been over for a long time it's time to accept reality this somebody has to know their value we may have somebody that is, is seeing a message about uh, where somebody is maybe it's about where somebody is spending their money and that causes the fight you're spending your money here is, are you kidding me? And that's what does it, you know? So anyway, there is, this is like the three of swords is, is typically a painful separation that brings tears. So be prepared. Okay. Good luck.